Hi, and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm Sarah Hatch. I'm a mom of five kids, and this is my four-year-old, and she and I have been drawing Gabby dollhouse characters all week. Who are we gonna draw today? Pillow cat. Pillow cat. Hmm. We're gonna draw Pillow cat sleeping. Huh? I like it to her eyes Can I do her eyes open? Oh, I guess, but I'm gonna have them closed because Pillow Cat's gonna be sleeping. <gasps> I am sleeping. Okay, so first. Okay, wait, wait, baby. <gasps> <laughs> first, we're gonna draw his eyes over here. So his eyes are wide, upside down rainbows. I'm doing them open. <laughs> okay. And then his nose is a wide triangle. This is a white triangle. Okay. And then his mouth are these little dotted lines. In the same shape we've done the other ones, like an upside down rainbow. But he's a pillow, so he's like stitches of fat, like of string. <laughs> it's really good. Good job. Okay, and then he has his mouth kind of open while he's sleeping. So cute. I'm doing her turn now. Is she, is it a girl or a boy? Pillow yes. cat. A girl. So I want to do some eyelashes. Okay. So she's got the little circles that represent the blush. And then little stitches on the inside of them. Yeah, good job. Good job. All right. Could we do her head now? So now we're going to draw, yeah, a big circle. Look at my big circle. Good job. What about her ears? Well, hold on. We'll do her ears in a second. We're going to do these stitches down. Okay. And then there's... Hold on, let's do her little front paws first. Because they kind of overlap. So it makes this kind of jelly bean shape. Can you make that jelly bean shape? Could you do some polka dot? So it can just be an oval right here. Just an oval right there. Good job. And then, <laughs> and then try to fit an oval in right there. Here's the other arm. Oh, it's too tiny. That's okay, you can make it bigger now. Good job. Okay, so now let me show you something. We're gonna draw another circle around the edge. Just follow your other line. And then skip over the arms that are in the front. And then do one right under there. Very good. Okay, now we can do her ears. So we've got a curvy triangle right there with a smaller curvy triangle um, on the inside. And same as over here. Look! Cute. All right. I did that. All right, so we need some whiskers on her. And they're kind of like whiskers. strings. You see that? You think about fabric and clothes, that's how Pillow Cat is. And then her paw, we've got a half circle right here. Oh, that's enough whiskers. Okay, now do a half. Wait! All right, real quick, do you want to draw the inside of her eye? Or just leave it an open circle? Now we gotta draw her body. All right. So, but first I was showing that she has little paw prints. So we've got. I don't want to do it. We got a half circle and then want three to. circles right there, and that makes her paw. And then we've got these little stitches right there, and then her other paw is not showing quite as much. And some stitches again. Okay. So now we're ready to move on to the body. 
So the way you do the body is you draw a diagonal line back and another one back, a little shorter. And then we're gonna draw a little leg back here, like that shape. And then we're gonna make a curve like that. You're gonna do another line like that. And then the tail. I already did. You ah, just beat me again. All right, and then she's got these little stripes in there. I did. Okay, and then there's one line right here. I don't know when I do And them. then one line right I don't know when here. I do them. You should. And then another line right here closer. And then on each of those lines, we're going to draw stitches on each side. And you could use a smaller marker to do the stitches, but I already did them with this bigger marker, so I got to keep doing them. All right, oh, good job. And then the last thing that we need, which you actually don't need, but I'm gonna do it, is I'm gonna draw some Z's. Do you know what Z's mean? What? It means he's sleeping. So since yours isn't sleeping, you don't have to draw the Z's. People write Z on cartoons when the character is sleeping. Well, we hope you had fun drawing your pillow cat. She's not gonna color hers right now, but I'll show how to color it. And maybe she'll color hers later when she feels like it. Hi. I think drawing a sleeping pillow cat made her sleepy. No, you're not sleepy? Okay. Well, I'd love to see how yours turns out. Tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram and that way I'll be able to see it. And we will see you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>